five, uh, <laughs> five queens shortly. So, getting not that worried in like any capacity. Cool. Yep. Um, and because this, again, this is future. I'm not expecting like a three gate pressure. Right. I'm expecting like the most standard of standard like starport first builds. <laughs> It's weird to say, I suppose, but that's that's just what I expect in the future. Oh no, Rich, what are you doing? Yeah, that was that was good and bad at the same time. Okay. It does it does definitely tell me what he's doing. Like at this point now, like you have this read where okay, turns out I was wrong. Future is planning on doing some sort of uh, early pressure. You know, like, after you don't see a nexus at this point in the game, you start to worry a bit. Right. Like, so it's, it's definitely going to be, okay, like, there's the pressure already. Um, look how quick that is. You know, it's, it's not a big deal. It's as weird as that sounds. Like Not a big deal. I'm, like, sitting here no. trying to figure out how this you're going to hold this. This is the easiest thing in the world, you know? Easiest thing in the world. Queens are pretty good. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. Backstab? Um, I'm just going around. So well, actually, look at that. That's, that's a lot of units he's making there. So. And transfusion is like quickly becoming my favorite ability in the game. <laughs> it's so good. It's not bad, my friend. It's not bad. But again, either way here, this is not worried at all. Like I have my DPS and I have my tanks, and from this point, it's just using them properly. Right. I have like overlords there to distract and hide if I want to. He's on creep, which is silly. Like, as long as I don't go off creep here, I'm fine. Holy moly, transfusion. Oh man, that's a lot of stuff. Yep. And again, like, notice here that we're just fine. Held that off, like, almost offensively. <laughs> Wasn't that difficult in any, you know, shape or form. Now we can go pretty much counter if we feel like it, or... Just whatever. You push all the way across with the queens? Sure. Queens are fun. <laughs> Why not, right? Why not, indeed. <laughs> I can transfuse more stuff when I get there. You know, like, still no expansion here, so, like, I don't even have the Hydra range, but I know that I have just a huge advantage because he's on one base and I'm on two. Alright, man. That was, uh... That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, so now let's change gears. I'm going to take us to Shattered Temple. Okay. Uh, if, uh, if ever there was a map that I feel like favored Protoss in this matchup, I think Shattered Temple is it, because he gets a very easy th three base. And we all know that three base Protoss is tough stuff. Uh, what's your opinion? I, um, on Shattered Temple... I'm kind of like off and on, but I actually I like it a lot. Cause I can I can take all of my all my bases. Ooh, hold on a sec. Whoops. Is that me or you? I don't know. Is it me? What happened? It's probably me. I don't know. I heard. Uh, I, was, I guess it was definitely me then. I just had an ad pop up somewhere. But anyway, um, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Um, I like Shattered Temple. I can take every little base. I can go pretty easy into Broodlords. And once I get Broodlords, I love the macro play behind it. Uh, just, you know, with Broodlords, Lings, and Festers, Roaches, I love it. And with, you know, that 212 max or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Oh, Future's sad. Aw. Don't be sad, Future. Rich fighting. I'm gonna root for Rich this game. Me too, but only halfway. <laughs> <laughs> you threw my all in off so bad. It's those lings, man, that early pressure. They are pretty good. Um so how many how many lings would you say is enough and how many would you say <laughs> is, is too many? <laughs> 
Oh man, it, it <laughs> varies so much. How many is too many? How many is too many against a guy who walls in really nicely with one stalker, but then proceeds to not make another stalker or a sentry? Well, in that case, what I had there was good. Like if someone makes like three sentries, you know, four is too many. Like you, you just let that happen. Yeah. <laughs> you let them do whatever they want because you're never ever gonna get up that ramp. Um, however, you know, if they expand with those four sentries, it's a different story. Like you can have like twenty, and then you're like great. So it's like always changing. Depends on the time, the situation. So you've got to have the uh, the chef spider sense to really get it right. <laughs> well, or just a lot of uh, fluky flukiness, I suppose. All right. But I mean, I mean to be honest, though, all it is is you you vary you, I guess variate. It's probably not a word. Uh, it is now. If if chef says it, it is a word. You variate. You variate <laughs> the amount of lings based upon what you see in the time. You always want to have more enough lings that can kill whatever army they're producing if you're going that direction, or enough lings to defend uh, if they try and push you with four gates. So you either want like that that lower variation or the higher variation. Like if you want to be aggressive, you want the higher. If you're being defensive, you want the lower. Cool, cool. All right, so no uh, close by air. Uh, this is MLG, so he's definitely cross. Mm-hmm. Um, Emo uh, or Shattered Temple, I should say, is kind of a long map, so maybe not uh, the best place for that kind of same link pressure, right? Um, actually, there's something about uh, Shattered where I don't feel there are very many good walls. Oh. Um, like where you can only have one Zealot spot to hit. So I'm actually okay with doing that again on this map, even. All right. Um, it's like a weird situation, though. <laughs> it's almost position based as well. Like his position there, I don't know if I could wall it off with one spot to hit. So. Okay. I want to see if he can. <laughs> And Rich is very good, so he might have figured out a way to do it. I'm just He is good. Just saying. He lives about 15 minutes away from me. Really? Yep. Aw. A couple of weeks ago, we both went to a, uh, a LAN. Nice. And, which one? Uh, Battle and Brew, which is just a local Atlanta LAN that happens, I think, once a month. Cool. Uh, small time, small prize. Rich got knocked out by uh, somebody from Eleven Gaming. And then I got knocked out in ZVZ. Uh, oh. Against somebody that I should have beaten, and I was so sad because my ZVZ is atrocious. Oh. ZVZ is tough, it's man. It's so freaking it's hard. I just don't get it. It's tough. It's tough. It is. It is indeed. All right, so six <clears throat> lings on the way. Queen coming. It's the same thing we've seen time and time again. Let me ask you, Sheth, uh, will you ever hatch first in this matchup? Yeah. Um. If I'm feeling crazy. <laughs> if I if I want to take a really early advantage or if I think it's a really long map like if they're uh Taldry Mulcher. Yep, I might do it there. Um however it, it changes a lot, it variates a lot. <laughs> um basically. That's what I'm saying. Alright, so your lings are across map, so probably not gonna be able to pull them back to deal with the pylon. Yep. It's not in this case, or we're, we're changing it up just a little bit. Oh no. They're, they're trying to see what's going on. So like we see that we see that. That's interestingly different. enough. Hatch going down anyway. Yep. Um I don't know what he's doing, honestly. Yeah, I think he's putting his units at a major risk right now. That's not even that, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> they're just, they're so dead. They're just they're just dead, period. Yeah, it's not gonna matter. Like, I don't know what his thought process was from going here. He said, I will scout you. Pretty much. Oh, man. I will scout at the cost of all of my units. All right, so upon achieving this significant victory, uh, what what is going to happen? I see you've got a lot of lings out on the map. Yep, we're going we're gonna to go scout out again, like aggressive scouting. We'll see what he's doing. So These lings will at least, if nothing else, prevent him from expanding for quite some time. Um, he has a stalker there, and I can hit it with two things, so I don't know what the deal is. So this isn't pressure, this is aggressive scouting. Um, pretty much. Pretty much. I get a pro. Alright. So you're feeling good, right? You killed a... Uh, um, not feeling bad, to be honest. Killed the Zealot, killed the Stalker, got a couple probes. Yep, I see at least some of his build there. Two gates, so I know, and something fishy's going on. Like, he wanted to make these two Zealots really late. Uh, like, my read here is kind of DTs, honestly. 
All right. Like I'm, I'm like always reading DTs. Though, I, I'm, so. I'm, I'm already noticing this. Hmm. It's like I don't care what it is. He's going DT. No gas, fast expand. He has a nexus up, chef. Feels he actually like has his DT. third nexus up. <laughs> <laughs> it's DT. Fifteen Seven minutes in the minute game. Minutes. Max Colossus ball. Must DT. be DT. <laughs> indeed, indeed. See how it is. You know, you know the truth of it. Those DTs come when you're like. It can't possibly yeah, be DT. Yeah, they always come oh. the worst possible. Ah, oh, it turns out DTs. it is DT. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, so you just saw a lot I, of sentries. Does that does that deter that thought process at all? Um, a little bit. Like my percentages for DTs is now down to something like eighty-eight percent. Um, <laughs> probably something like fifty percent. Okay. Uh, a little bit more realistic. But I'm still getting that spore crawler. It's uh, definitely something fishy going on at, at this sort of uh, length of delay before he builds his nexus. Um, so, I mean, I am kind of worried. I'm not worried enough that I'm going to put one in my main, though. Which is kind of interesting. I'm not quite that worried. Alright. Well, I should be, but I'm not. Anyway. So, uh, on the TL forums and around the community, a lot of talk has been taking place around mass infester zergling in ZVP. Uh, huh. Is that a viable play, a way to play this matchup? Would you like me to show it to you? <laughs> um, it is kind of viable. It's a pretty good build. Really? Yeah. I've experimented with it some. I've had mixed. Uh, I've had mixed results with it. Mixed results. I mean, if, okay. you, if if you feel like it's viable, I mean, I'm um, sure it could be cool yeah, to I see. Could. Not a problem at all, man. Not a problem at all. Now, what I is the what is the premise behind this? Using fungal to to, to kill sentries or what? Um. Ling Infester, that's, that's the idea. Do you mean like, did you mean like Bane Ling no, Infester or I, just Ling Infester? Ling Infester, Bane Ling, I mean, yeah, all, all of the above. Okay. All those things are, are, uh... Kind of expecting a Nexus cancel. Okay. Be quite blunt. Um, that's, that's where my mind's at right this instance. Really? Yep. Um, just, I feel like if he doesn't, he's gonna die. I think he's too far behind. Yep. That I do. Now this is something that I think if if like forgive me if this sounds terrible. I feel oh. but, but I mean I feel like you've really come into your own lately. You've you've always been a strong player. You were a strong player in Brute War. You've been a strong player throughout the life of StarCraft 2, but it, it seems like just recently you've really uh, been making a name for yourself as one of the best players in North America. Uh, period. And, and I think there's kind of a hallmark to your style, and that's this hyperaggression at a point. Um, my question is, when does when does this hyperaggression start, and what is the what is the, your cue? I um, there are a lot of things. Like here, it's it's looking like two base. Like that's my thought process. Like right here is okay, two base. Um, so for sure now, like I have like you see how many units I have. I have a lot of units. Like I mean drones, not units. You I have, have like zero a, units. Retarded amounts he of could, drones. Yeah, he could come kill me if he wanted to, and I'd be like, "Oh yeah, that was an easy game, Chef. Thank you for the, thank you for playing." But like, you realize this timing, like, okay, um, no Protoss on the right mine's going to attack now because usually, is just going to have five million roaches, and yeah. they're just going to die, and they're like roaches can be burrowed and everything. So like, only the stupid Protoss, and I know Rich is not stupid by any means, would attack me right here. Um, so here I can just be like, okay, let's macro up, let's get some baneling, let's get basically whatever units I want to, whatever units I feel like. Um, and once he sees these bane links, he really needs to be defensive. Like, yeah, he's he's starting to ki kill those rocks. That's what he needs to do. Any other option here is is so risky because of bane link drops. Mm -hmm. um, because if he moves out, I can I can still make roaches. Like, <laughs> I'm not like so far out of roaches. Like, I have the roach warrant. I just haven't upgraded really anything. Now, something else that's uh, sorry to change gears so quickly, but something else oh, is kind of uh, unique to you. I, mean, I shouldn't say unique to you because I'm sure there's other players that do this as well, but. But uh, a, a lot of people, especially in the Zerg community, myself included, seem to get on this, uh, seem to have adopted this mindset of, okay, if I get any more drones than X per base, I'm wasting my production. Uh, but here you, like, you, you were up to 70 drones on two bases. Uh, what is your take on that? I, um, there's no point in having anything more than 24. 24, you'll never really get anything higher uh, mineral-wise. However, like you said, I had 74 on two base, and the reason because the reason of it was I was expecting my third base to go up and to 
be able to simply like instantly remax with it, like instantly um, saturated. There yeah. we go. That's the word. 